So listen, I don't have perfect skin. I feel like I have a lot of pigmentation. You guys can see here. I have a lot of texture and I feel like the key to glass skin is having that like, you guys know the vibe, right? You know what I'm talking about. Like just super liso, like super smooth. <laughs> my face nice and cleansed waiting to put on these products okay so I'm gonna take you through my skincare routine and makeup routine that'll help you achieve glass skin so glass skin was started in Korea this is a Korean trend and I feel like they're always innovative so I personally have always looked to K-beauty for the newest in skincare especially all right if you are familiar with my channel you know how much I've been obsessed with this snail mucin line by Cosrx. So I'm so happy that Cosrx is actually sponsoring this video and we are gonna be using not only products that I already love, but also new products to me that I've tried over this past month that they sent over that, oh my God, leaves you so glowy, so dewy. You guys are about to fall in love with so many products, I swear. I can't wait to slap all these products on my face because my friends, I just, cleansed so we can get into the skincare routine. So first up, what I would say is the night before, definitely try to get some exfoliation going. That way your skin is looking the brightest. It's getting rid of all of the dead skin cells. You know, you're just left with a nice canvas. And if you have breakouts, what I would recommend is to put these babies. This was the first product that I tried from Cosrx and I was sold. I feel like they are the innovators of the pimple patch. These are like my number ones. These are really great because they're so thin, they're so flexible, they're so transparent. So even if you would like to wear them in the daytime, I know sometimes I don't like to put makeup over really active pimples, you know? So this will just keep it concealed and you can even apply a little makeup on top of it while your pimple is being protected. I actually don't have any breakouts right now. What I have is like like just the remaining acne scars, I guess. I'm gonna show you how I cover them up to have this really like smooth canvas um, in the makeup routine. But I would definitely recommend this. It flattens your pimples like this overnight. I swear to God, and what's kind of satisfying is you kind of see the little bacteria, the little pus kind of collected in those pimple patches. And it also helps to keep them moisturized. It doesn't dry them out so the scarring isn't as bad, you know? So that is the night before. So next, what I'm gonna apply is the Advanced Nail Radiance Dual Essence. Okay, I had this one. Oh, you can see I really love this. I'm like halfway done. So this one leaves your skin super hydrated. I feel like it softens your skin. So like it really helps with my texture, especially in combination with this. This is like my little power duo. That is what I have been doing. But uh, Cosrx actually sent me this one, which I had not tried. And oh my God, this one not only hydrates, but it also leaves your skin so glowy. So it has this radiance to it. So it also is refining your skin's texture, which like I said, it is what you want. Oof, this stuff, like you literally just need one pump. My skin's like, finally, the longest intro. It's so highly moisturizing in such a thin texture. So now you can see, look at that glow, you guys, just with that one Power Essence, you can see it a lot right here, right here, all of the high points of, of my face, really. So the next one that we're gonna apply is the Propolis Light Ampule. Like I said, it's all about building these light layers of moisturization, but also things that are really effective for your skin. So that's why I really love this one. And it's made with 83.25% of black B propolis extract, which is an antibacterial. It's also anti-inflammatory, which that is really what you want. Like, like I said, I have a lot of sensitivity on my cheeks. If you deal with any kind of breakouts, this is something that you would definitely love. It just helps that redness to go down. It just is so calming to the skin. And on top of it, you're about to see the glow that it gives us. So this is such a beautiful serum. This is what I love about Cosrx. Like all their products are so effective. They're so simple, but they're still innovative and they really work and it's all oh, look at that it's all these really nice ingredients at first i'm like oh this is going to be too thick but it is so thin not sticky like i said everything wears really nicely under makeup i'm going to go ahead and pat that in 
can just feel my skin like, oh, it's like a warm hug on your skin. You're like, thank you. Thank you very much. And this one feels honestly like such a nice primer. I wish you guys can just feel my skin right now. It is so soft. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. It's like just everything just feels like it's gliding on these all these products work so well together like I said I love this combo this was like my 2020 combo and I was like oh my god my skin really refined my skin's texture I'm gonna be using my favorite moisturizer and this is going to really just like seal the deal this is the advanced snail 92 all-in-one cream this is just going to complete the skin's barrier like look at that it's so thin again and this gel light cream is so good for all skin types i've heard my oily girls talk about it i mean i've been talking about this for years so it's really great for dehydrated skin dry skin combo skin like me and also oily skin it's made with 92 percent snail mucin which really helps to repair and soothe red sensitized skin which i love you saw all the redness on my cheeks so this is why i love this product it leaves your skin so bouncy, which I feel like is also really key for like the glass skin look. You just really want your skin to look supple, hydrated, smooth, and this just like glides on. I don't know if you guys can, I wish you could feel it, just glides. Obviously this is for the daytime, we gotta apply some sunscreen, so I've been really loving this one by black girl sunscreen it works really well in tandem with all of these products you know how like some sunscreens will leave leave you like pilly i feel like when i use these skincare products everything just layers so nicely on top of each other like it never pills which is also something that i really pay attention to so that is what our skin is looking like now glassy and you can understand why sometimes i'm like i don't even want to throw on makeup but i'm gonna make this almost like a no makeup makeup look just to further enhance and still have it look really natural. Let me put my hair back up. I don't know what I was thinking, putting it down. I'm gonna be using just the tiniest amount of primer. This is the one by Laura Mercier. It is the illuminating primer. Taking that much and this is just gonna amplify some of that glow. We look extremely reflective. When I do like a glass skin makeup routine, I like it to look like I said, like very no makeup makeup. So I'm gonna be using this skin tint. This is probably one of my favorite skin tints as well. And I like to apply this literally just with my hands. I'm gonna just apply a little bit. This is like the perfect makeup routine if you don't wanna put on like a ton of makeup, but you just wanna have like a punch of health to your skin. This is, this is it for you because I feel always like my best. Like I feel like I look like myself, just a little bit enhanced. So you can still see my hyperpigmentation right in here. So I'm gonna use concealer and I just spot conceal kind of a bit. <laughs> and I really love this concealer. It's the hydrating one. It just allows my skin to still feel hydrated but it's really nice coverage as well. And just to kind of brighten up right here, you can see I have some dark circles, I'm a little tired. And I'm just gonna add the concealer like this. So everything is like nice and lifted and I'm gonna take this brush this is from rare beauty I love her brushes and I'm just gonna dab you can also dab with your fingers I find it works really well when you spot conceal for this section here I do want to use a brush and I'm just stippling it out just take your time honestly it'll give you the most natural look nose too, I always get red. And then I'm gonna take powder, and this is crucial. Be very, very minimal with this. Obviously, we wanna continue this glow, so I'm just kind of taking a little bit on that same concealer brush, adding it to the places like here around my nose that I don't want it to crease and this is gonna help your skin look really smooth still just be very like light-handed again so you can still see the glow like don't put any on your track unless you have like a raised pimple like I have one here I'm gonna apply a little bit there and this is gonna help to diminish that you just don't see it as much so I'm just gonna quickly do my brows fill in as naturally 
as I can. This is the pencil by Crooks. What is it? Arches and I was gonna say Crooks and Castle. <laughs> Arches and Halo. Why does it give me like the same energy though? And I really like to use a lot of cream products. The only powder that I'm using is this one and you saw how little that I used. And this was the one, this is the Hyaluronic powder. This is like the most hydrating powder. If you don't like powder, you're gonna love this. For blush, I'm gonna use the new Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable collection. And this is in the shade Apricot. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. I feel like it wears so well. I'm just gonna concentrate this up here. It's really sheer, so it's easy to control and build up. It'll just be like very little makeup, but it'll help, you know, enhance your features. So next, just to give our eyes a little, a little something, I'm gonna be using Socialite, the color tattoo by Maybelline. It's this really pretty rose goldy shade. Add it here. Again, I love cream shadows, but I like when the cream lasts and doesn't crease. So I'm using all products that I feel have really nice lasting power and also make an impact still. Really quickly, I'm gonna add the Strength and Length Brow Gel. This is just in the shade Clear by Bare Minerals. And we're just gonna help separate this out. I love this. There's like two sides to it, so you can use like one side to kind of flatten them out if you want like a laminated look. And then we're gonna finish off with some highlighter which will just kind of seal the deal on this glass skin routine. But I feel like it's also just like a nice natural look. If you, if you don't want to be like super reflective, you can just stop here and you can still get a lot of that radiance from our skincare products that we used. So you have that option as well. I'm just using a little bit of light mascara. This is the one by Marc Jacobs, even though this one is really intense. I'm just not gonna go as ham as I usually go. Everything very feathery and light. And I'm not gonna do my bottom lashes today. Wow, surprise, surprise. So for highlight, I am gonna be using this one. This is literally called Glass Glow, and I've been really liking it as a little topper. It's kind of on the thicker side. That's why I'm saying like, if you wanna stop here, I feel like this is really wearable, great, like everyday makeup. But if you want to amplify and really get that reflective skin, I really love this one by Kevin Aquan. Look at how pretty the pearlescent is. And I just go like this with my fingers and I will just pat it like this. Be really gentle because you don't want to be moving around anything, especially if you concealed any like blemishes that you didn't want to show. Just be really like mindful that this is, that it, it will kind of like move on you. But like look at the... <gasps> And then I like to also go here. Like you can kind of see a little bit of shine here on my eyebrow, so I will also amplify it. You can do this on one side. And then like I also like to go here on the chin. And then obviously on the bridge of the nose. But on the nose, I like to use something a bit more potent. Here underneath the brow is so pretty as well. So anywhere where you feel like the light naturally hits you. I try to stay on like one side of the face, so like the spotlight is like from one side, but obviously I'll still do like this part of my cheek. So like I said, I do like to use one more little highlight just on the nose and on my cupid's bow. I love to highlight that. And then also just like right in the inner corner so everything feels really like congruent. I will put a little dash here, and this is the one by Rare Beauty as well, and this is in the shade Enlighten. It's like their lightest shade, but I feel like it's the most reflective. So that's why I went ahead and chose that. And for the lips, I like to just kind of have a little bit of like a glow to the lips. So I'm gonna be mixing this, which is the Venetian Rose Lip Cushion. I love these from M Cosmetics. And I've been really loving this one from Jason Wu. It's their Lip Plumper. And oh my God, it really does plump up the lips. And I feel like it's a nice topper to any lip situation. So that is the reflective glass skin routine. It makes you look really healthy, makes you look alive, makes you look like yourself. Just radiant, my friends. I feel like it really does start with the skin prep because if you were to throw on you know, concealer and even this skin tint on dry, like crusty, not primed skin, it, would, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same. So definitely check out those products. Again, thank you so much to Cosrx for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have all of the products used in today's video listed in the description box. So 
definitely check that out. Let me know if you try out this routine. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you have any questions, obviously, you know where to find me. Leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. Bye.